Choosing an icon library for your project can often be a difficult choice considering the amount of libraries out there. Once you do choose a library, you're essentially locked into using that service or product regardless if it fully meets all of your use cases. To avoid this, I have no longer been using a single icon library, but opting for an icon framework called Iconify. Iconify is basically a framework that combines hundreds of icon sets offering over 150,000 open source icons to use in your projects. This gives you the flexibility to use various icon sets in your projects in a consistent way and not have to worry about being locked into that single icon library, otherwise known as vendor lock-in. Not only does it give you the flexibility of using various icon sets, it's also really easy to implement into your projects. The great thing about Iconify is that it supports many frameworks such as Vue, React, Savelle, and even HTML web components. Or if you just want to download the raw SVG, you're able to do that as well. Iconify also powers tools that you might have heard of such as Uno CSS, Astro Icon, and even Nuxt icons. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get set up and start using Iconify in your projects. Now on this channel, I mainly stick to Vue, so that's how I'll be showing you how to use it for this video. However, if you are using a different framework and want to use Iconify, for the most part, the use of the icons are mainly the same throughout the various frameworks. And Iconify has really good documentation that you can reference as well. So here in a new Vue 3 project, we're going to install the Iconify package for Vue. Again, if you are using a different framework, you can head to the documentation and find how to install it for the specific framework that you're using. Now inside the integrated terminal, let's install the Iconify package for Vue. Once we have that installed, we need to import the icon component from Iconify. With these two simple steps, we now have access to all the icon sets available on Iconify. So here on Iconify, we can search for any icon that we might need, and we can even search by the icon set itself. For this example, let's search for a carrot icon which I commonly find myself using, and we can just select this one here. Now if we scroll down, we'll see the icon that we selected. What's cool about Iconify is that we can easily customize the icon by changing the color, the size, or even flipping or rotating the icon itself. Below that, we'll see the selection for the type of framework that we want to use this icon in. We're going to be selecting View, and then the default option is View 3. And a few lines below this, we can copy this snippet for the component to use inside of our application. Now, for example, if we did add any customizations, those would be added to this component as props. So if we were to change the color or size of this icon, that will then be added to the component snippet below as props. You can also find all the optional properties on the documentation as well, and I'll leave a link to that below in the description. Now with that component snippet copied, if we add this to our view application, we'll then see that icon within the browser. Although this approach is quite easy and straightforward, one downfall is that the icon itself does not get fetched until the component has been mounted. This could result in flickering on the DOM with slow connections and even cause issues if you're doing any pre-rendering with Vue. One solution to this is to use the unplug in icons library. How this library works is instead of just importing the icon component, you instead import each icon and use them directly in your template as a component. This way each icon you use will be included in your bundled application. So first let's install the unplug in library. Then for view three built with Vite, we need to import icons from unplug icons and then define it as a plugin within the Vite config. Now to use the icons, we have two options. You can either install a specific icon set or you can install all the sets from Iconify. Now one thing to note is that if you install all the sets, only the icons that get used will be included in your bundled application. Since that's the case, I always find it easier to install all the sets, which we can do with add Iconify slash JSON. Now to import an icon, it goes in this convention. You first want to reference the icons path, then you reference the collection that the icon exists in, and then you have the icon name itself. So if we take a look at the carrot icon from earlier, to use it, it would look like this. We'll say import and we'll give it a name of carrot down, and then we'll say from, and then the path will be icons slash MDI slash carrot dash down. Then using the name we defined in the import of carrot down, we can define this icon as a component and then we'll see it within the browser. I do also want to mention that you can still add all the props or customization using the unplug in library.
To take this a step further, you can also auto import icons and not have to worry about importing them. To do this within the vconfig, we need to configure a few things. First, we're going to need to install a package called Unplugin View Components, and we'll say that as a dev dependency. Then we want to import icons resolver from Unplugin Icons, and then we also want to import components from Unplugin View Components. In the plugins array, we'll need to define components which accepts an object for further customization. Within this object, we'll need to define a resolver array and then define icons resolver. Then using this convention of prefix-collection-icon, we can use any icons we want as a component without having to import them. Again, only the icons that we use will be bundled into our application. So in the application for this caret icon, we can remove the import. Then for the component, we'll say i, which is the default prefix, then dash mdi, dash caret, dash down. And then we should still be able to see the icon within the browser. I also wanted to mention that there is some additional customizations you can make, such as changing the prefix value and even adding collection aliases. Now, while using the unplugin library is great for Vite applications, if you are using Nux, then I recommend using the Nux icon library built by the Nux team, which is actually powered by Iconify. To begin using this in your Nux project, you're first going to want to install Nux icon as a dev dependency. Then within your Nux config, you'll want to add Nux icon as a module. And that's all you need to do, and you'll now have access to Iconify in your Nux project. Now by using Nux icon, you'll have everything handled behind the scenes for server-side rendering support, and even have the icon component auto-imported for you. The only difference with the icon component in Nux is that instead of the component accepting a icon prop, it now accepts the name prop with the name of the icon that you want to use. As for the other additional properties that you can define within Vue, those remain the same. Now, as an added bonus, if you made it to the end of the video, I also want to share that Iconify has a VS Code extension for IntelliSense. Now, not only does the extension give you autocomplete for icon sets, it also displays the icon alongside the component, which in my opinion improves the readability when browsing through the code itself. All right, so hopefully after watching this video, it'll convince you to give Iconify a try. Since Iconify is open source, if you do end up using it and want to support the framework, I'll leave a link down below with how you can support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.